Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dothack GU. Last time we won the finals against Kuhn. We had an avatar battle against Magus. It was fun and then uh, my video started hiccuping and that wasn't fun. Nice result, Kova is like the son of our guild. He'll talk to anybody without any discrimination or bias. Winter exists because of him and Sakaki. Yeah, I'll bet. What about Gabi? Exactly what he looks like. He's impossible to judge, but the charisma that got him 5,000 members is the real deal. Even Bordeaux's nothing but a domesticated kitty in front of him. I know a lot happened in the tournament, but I still hope we can work together. After all, I has a problem that neither you or I can avoid if you want to. Uh... <laughs> you should be nice to girls, Haseo. And people in general. Yeah, I... <sighs> So, in the original series, yeah, I'm talking about the original series, you got a problem with it? <laughs> in the original series, when your affection rating with certain characters um, got to a point, they would email you, um, and, and you'd have, like, these side emails that don't really have anything to do with the main story, but just kind of, like, give you some more characterization. Um, but in GU, all of those, like, side conversations... A lot of them won't happen unless you send them greeting cards. And the ones that do happen without them, they won't, like, be sent back. Um, they won't be sent back when your characters get a certain affection rating. Or not just when they have an affection rating, but they also need to get to a certain point in the story, too. That's why every time you see an email like that, it'll, like, mention something about an event that just happened. And that, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, yeah, so. That was my daily. This is the reason why the original series is better than GU. <laughs> but what's, what's Yada? What's Yada want? What's Yada want that he has to call us to the Serpent of Lore and, you know, not have us tell us in an email? Yeah. It's- I still think it's so weird that, like, the announcer brought Yada on as a guest commentator, but, like, why? What is Yada to, like, the average person? I don't know. Maybe it's just because he's Kuhn's guildmaster, yes, but... Eh. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not gonna think too hard about it. What do you want, Yada? You're late. Shut up! <laughs> Now, now, you two. You're too easy on him. Maybe the problem is you're just too hard on him. No, you're too easy on him, Coon. Like, say? if the video wasn't hiccuping before and I didn't have to, like, edit thing. a bunch of stuff together to try to, like, save it. I hope you'll invite us into one, party one thing I really got super annoyed at with Coon is how angry he was about Haseo using his avatar. Yeah, and then, like, once it's over, it's like, eh, it's no big deal. Just make sure it doesn't happen again. Just like it was nothing at all. But don't get the wrong idea. I'm only going because I don't know what you might do unattended. Yeah, yeah, hi. Master Yada is waiting for us at the Serpent of Lore. It would be rude to keep him waiting. I guess. I mean, he didn't really say a time or anything. Kuhn entered the Demon Palace tournament as part of an assignment I gave him for GU. Yeah, that's what he said. As you have defeated him and will fight in the title match of the tournament, I expect you to take over his assignment. Oh, I didn't hear about that. If I recall correctly, you are indebted to Kuhn, am I right? Uh, fine. So, what do I have to do? Go have a talk with him. With Kuhn? Endrance is a player with Oh, many we're mysteries. talking about Endrance now. His past, <laughs> his abilities as an epitaph user, and his connection with Ida are all unknown. There is a limit to what can be investigated in the system logs. That is why I want you to go investigate for me. 
want me to interrogate him. Do you really think he'll just sing like a canary? Yeah, it's Even not like he he's does, in love with Haseo or anything. There's no guarantee what he says is true. I will determine what is true. Endrance is apathetic. He uses a very languid playing style. Languid? The time Endrance spends online is unnaturally long. Yet at the same time, he shows little interest in either battles or chatting. So he just likes to sign in and enjoy the scenery, like I used to fact, when I played the the, uh, place that the first Stop Act series and like did my homework, and just listened to the sound effects. Is in the arena. In other words, if there was a chance to ascertain what Endrance's true intentions were, it would be in the arena. Yes, that is what I believe. I'll do what I can. Got things to say to him anyway. Yeah, so like it's no big deal. In return, I want Tri Edge. Who? Of course, I know. Oh, right. That guy. <laughs> Man, look at the sow just like striding off with his little cape flapping back and forth. <sighs> New mail, but we were just at the mail. Oh. First dot hack series did this too. That is a fault I will give the first dot hack series. What do we got? What do we got? Notice title match against Endrance. Oh, but it wouldn't be fun if we just went straight for that, right? We have to do side quests first and training things. And I think we actually do because I think we're under leveled. Adelie has a new area to level up at that we'll do in the next episode. But for now, there is something else that we're gonna do. Kuhn and Pi both have quests that they want us to go on with them. And they want you to go with them together. So... It's... You know, I, I, I was gonna say it'd be a good idea to do them for the levels, but like, honestly... Um, they don't- they give you shit experience, and Pi and Kuhn are both higher levels than you now. They are the same level as when you just fought them in the arena. Um, you- you'll need to level up a little bit, though, because I think Endurance is level 45, and what are we at now, like 37, so we need to do it. We need a little bit of leveling up. And the thing, I, I wasn't talking over before, but this is the next part of the, uh, the Serenosis quest. That, 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 the end result of the Serenosis quest is going to be in a bonus episode, because that's the, uh, the post-game, um, boss fight in this volume. I don't know exactly what it entails if you don't do all of these, like, um, forum checking things. I'd imagine they'd just stay up there, and when you choose to reply to them, you know, they'll check back after you log in and log out, and you'll just, you know, you'll just do the areas then, but I'd recommend, you know, it's just, it's so easy. You, you may as well just knock it off now if you intend to do the Serenosis quest. I'll register for the title match at the arena counter. Mmm, I wish. And syllabus. Yeah, we won't be doing that, though. We are going to be, uh doing something else. Now, I think I intended, since I got the, um, I got Adelie's email first to go and do their dungeon, but it was, what was it, level 43, and we're 38. Okay, so we're 38. So I thought that was a bit high, so I said, hold it, why don't we go do the Pie and Coon quests first, since they're at a lower level. So, that's, that's that. And it's, you know, I, want, I wanted to leave the Coon and Pi things in, too, not only because they were, you know, emailed quests, and that's just kind of how I play with it. They, they both have characterization parts to them, too, so it's not like they're without their worth. Well, Coon's isn't, but Pi's is. And I'm not just saying that because Alcade also happens to be in that quest. But Alcade is totally in that quest. Um, Coon's is actually really stupid. 
and I was super disappointed about it. <laughs> and I was going to the shop acorn because every time I use that um, that warp, that's what I end up doing, just going straight there. But um, yeah, Coon's Coon's quest is dumb. It's it's very anime humor, but. You know, it'll, it'll be good to show off Kun and Pai a little bit, because Kun and Pai have been unavailable for the majority of this game. I mean, they've showed up for story stuff, but in terms of battle, they've been kind of restrictive of when you can actually uh, party up with them. After their tournament now, now is when they'll become more free to use whenever you want. And in fact, I would recommend uh, concentrating future... Um, training sessions if you plan to do them with Coon and Pi because um, unfortunately you are locked into having them in your party for the final battle and the final battle can be kind of tough it's not the hardest thing in the world but compared to the rest of the th battles we've experienced in GU it can kind of take you by surprise if you're unprepared and right. under leveled um, and since you're probably so used to having Adelie in your party as a healer, and you're not gonna have her in that battle, um, it'd be useful to have the Coon and Pie at higher levels for that fight in particular. Not that they're gonna get a lot of experience from here, in fact, one of these I feel like I just skip enemies entirely just because of how little experience they give me. But there's actually a lot of cutscenes in Kuhn's dungeon, or Kuhn's quest, rather, so... I'm gonna leave that in. Or, well, I'm leaving it all in, you know how it is. You know, you know how this goes by now. Hey, the solo player. She must be sure of her skills. Oh, and good news, we have more Chicky Dot... Dadas, or whatever they're called, Babas. Wait, wait. Ugh, yeah, there's there's more of them here too. Cry later. It's it's ridiculous how often we face this enemy now. Like I feel like they've been around for like the past like three levels. You'd think they'd change it up, but since it's been so long, in case you've forgotten, Kuhn is a steam gunner. He attacks with a bayonet and. His physical attacks are close, but all of his skills are from far away. One cool thing about Kuhn is that Kuhn's skills hit um, enemies up in the air. So if you are going to go to an area with a lot of flying enemies, um, Kuhn's good to have along with you because he's useful for taking them down faster. Pi is a tribal grappler. She is our monk, more or less. She has a lot of short, rapid attacks. Um, She's not at my party too often, so I, I don't really... I'm not too familiar with Tribal Grapplers in general, and unfortunately she's the only one we get until post-game in Volume 3. So... Yeah, that's a thing. But, now yeah, let's, uh... Mm. That was a close one. Are you alright? Those monsters should know better than to attack someone as beautiful as you. But now that I'm here, I'm not gonna let anyone touch you. It sounds so forced. Like, this joke, huh? like, just Wait. keeps going She's gone. on and on She's a new and player. on. Her level is nowhere close to what she needs to it's like, you dungeon. can be, like, a ladies' man or a flirt as a character. You know, it won't always, like, be my favorite type of character, but, like... But for Kuhn, it, it just goes on and on and on and on, and it's like, we get it. And that's when it pops up, because Kuhn is usually like a level-headed, chill dude most of the time. You know, I feel like the, uh, like the ladies' man thing is just like, who needed an anime trope, let's give him this one. And every now and again, scenes like that have to pop up, and yes, we're doing the fast forwarding again, because, good lord, we're... The enemies here are not worth experience, and... Whatever. Yeah, we've seen these guys before, too, but in case you missed it, I'll let them in. 
Gan Zygers. Gan is gone, I guess it's technically pronounced. I don't know how it's technically pronounced. I guess there's a difference between the English and the Japanese pronunciations. But gone is Earth, so... I guess if you were playing around with elements, you'll want to do, um... Wood attacks against them. Are there wood attacks? I don't remember seeing, like, a wood enemy in here, really. Juke was the wood act- was the wood, like, prefix, but... Yeah, I don't really remember seeing much for wood. Is there a wood element in here? There has to be. What else would be Earth's counterpart, then? Because there's fire and water, and light and dark, and Earth, and it's wood. Unless it's air or something. I don't think it's air. Next time, uh, next time we go to the status screen, I'm kind of curious about what that would be. Yeah, it's the same elements from, like, uh, the first game, except for, it, it was, it was, um, thunder in the first game instead of light. Man, not again. And light Let's and help. darkness aren't even really, like, elements you need to worry about in this game. How should we handle this? I don't think anybody uses those types of attacks against you, and I don't think you gain any skills with that either. Those are just things that will pop up in the second volume. Yeah, look, look we're, we're getting, like, nothing for this. Why did they make this area level so low? Thank you. Hang on a second. It's crazy to wander around this dungeon alone at your current level. You should at least form a party. I can't. Huh? I don't know anyone that would form a party with me. Uh oh, that just okay, triggered then. Coons. You know you what? Come with us. Good. <laughs> All right then. What? Hey. <sighs> I can't allow a young lady like you to wander around this dungeon alone. It's so forced. It goes against my beliefs. Oh my God. I Coon cannot allow this atrocity to go any further. This fucking music too. It's just By like. By the way, my name is Coon. Nice to meet you. It's such a not sure. dot hack song. Of course. Why? Why? Don't forget it. What? Why? Because you're a predator, Coon. Stop. Maybe she's shy. What a nice girl. Stop it, Coon. He's with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm with a sail. That's like the only time I'm with a sail. What is with you? Like, leave her alone. Stop being a fucking creep. Or is Pi's, like, knuckle-cracking now, huh? Kuhn has this habit of, um, like, completely going through his SP really fast. Even if you tell him not to. And just do, like, a, um... And as you, uh, for, uh like, what was... God, what's it called? I forget. Like, the normal one, where it's like, you adapt to the situation. I think it's because, you know, most of Kuhn's, hey, you know, as a get? seam gunner, he just needs to use long range Since as his we're default. In the same dungeon, why don't we get to know each other? Kuhn, what? stop it. Come on, it'll be fine. Stop it. Good, let's talk. Being such a creepy so, weirdo. How is it that you're so hung up on this quest? I'm not. I just want a rare item. A rare item? Yeah. I got your rare item right here. <laughs> in your class? I wasn't really very interested in games. So this is my first week playing the world. Hmm. And everyone started to show off their great weapons and items. But I just started, so I don't have anything. And I got jealous. I told them that I have one too. I'm bringing it in tomorrow. I see. Bringing it in where? It's because they won't stop writing about it. Like today in gym class. Gym class? <laughs> Serves you right, asshole. <laughs> so then, that means, uh, you're in grade school? Yeah, third grade. Third grade? So you're what? Nine years old? Yeah, she's nine years old. Is too young. Even for you. <laughs> it's anyway. true. I'm going to go now. Stop, Coon. Please just stop now. Hey, 
Hey. No, she's nine, Coon. Stop it. Like, I, I don't care. Even anime nine-year-olds can't, you know, be sexified enough to warrant your attraction to her. Like, it's so fucking stupid. And he's still gonna go after Sorry, it. We're late. Out of, like, sh fake chivalry or something. You can't fight that thing by yourself. Just stand back and watch us do our stuff. Yeah, just stand back and watch me show off. Hey, stand back. You're in the way. <laughs> Thank you, Asael. That was very nice. <laughs> How should we handle this? Ugh, I'm getting sick of seeing that broadsword. I cannot wait until we get our scythe and start, like, just cycling through weapons and showing them all off equally. I mean, I guess I could switch to my twin blade, but I, I kind of like feel like the game really wants you to um, use the broadsword for the rest of the game, since it introduces all of those armored enemies, and that's what the broadsword's best at dealing with. Justice prevails. Just kidding. Hey, this is pretty nice. I'm sorry, I, I I didn't see that this properly. Did that say mermaid's tits? Outside, <laughs> what item inside. did we just get? It's pretty rare, so you can show it off to all your classmates. You sure? Of course. Uh, I can't take this. Huh? Why? You guys kept saving me. I didn't do anything at all. I was so scared I couldn't even move. I don't deserve to get an item like that. Hmm. I think there's a misunderstanding here. It turned out to be an easy victory thanks to you. Huh? The monster's attention was focused on you because you didn't run away. So we were able to keep attacking. You watched, right? Yeah, sure yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure someone could argue, yes, really. well, Coon's just being, for a beginner to face a boss you know, monster. nice and chivalrous a really important part to... In this battle. You try to make her feel better, but I'm sorry, after all of that stuff in the beginning of the dungeon, it's like... Oh, Mermaid's Tear. Oh, that's what it said. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Coon was just, like, being such a creep the whole time. I can't, like, defend anything he did here. It was just, like... Mm. <sighs> Cute little story you made up there. She helped out because she couldn't move during a battle. She just started playing the world, so I wanted her to have fun. I'm sorry that I gave her that item without asking you first. That's okay, but Kuhn... I didn't know you had a thing for younger girls. In grade school. She's much too young for you. Seriously. Hey, her being young had nothing to do with it. It's like he's not even I'm denying it. to all female players. Huh? What are you ladies doing here? We saw you in town and came after you so we could join up. She's in grade school, right? <laughs> We've been watching from the battle. What? I can't believe you took advantage of a little girl. You jerk! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what? Wait a sec. It's a misunderstanding. Please, do go on. Explain. I wasn't. Things like that happen sometimes, mister. Yeah, mister. <sighs> hey there, sailor. You can get depressed <laughs> later. Uh, yeah, coon, you filthy lech. Totally different than my fictional crush from ten years ago, right guys? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's funny because Alcade's in the next episode, and I'm sure I'll just prove myself to be a giant hypocrite. But you know what? Thank you. Whatever. <laughs> uh, it's a crush from a long time ago, guys. Don't take it too seriously. It's freaking anime, whatever. Don't take Kuhn too seriously. Don't take any of this too seriously. It's just it's fucking Don Hack to you, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Why are you yelling? Just 
<laughs> nice. I'm always like this, aren't I? No. Right, Haseo? No. You're overcompensating. Uh, yeah. Well, it's not like I did anything wrong. <laughs> I just wanted her to enjoy the world. It's <laughs> still so thinking about good. it. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, everything was great until midway. Everything was great until I found out she was nine years old. <laughs> Why can't she be 19 instead? Or even 12? <laughs> oh, anime, he was so funny. Next time on Let's Play GU, I'm sure something equally important will happen. See you guys next time.